So um, sit comfortably. It is all right if your eyes are open or closed. If you choose to keep your eyes open, invite them to be, you know, maybe unfocused. If at any point during this time you wish to get up or move around or stretch or, you know, scratch an itch, that's okay. Invite your body to breathe in whatever way your body is comfortable breathing. We don't need to control or manage our breath. Our bodies have been breathing since literally the first moment you were in this world. You left your mother's body. The first thing you did was start to breathe. Your body will continue breathing until your last moment in this world, literally your last breath. I want you to focus on your feet and invite your feet to relax. You don't need to tell your feet what to do or manage them. Your feet will relax all on their own and they appreciate the dignity of being in charge of themselves with your request and invitation. You may direct your feet, you may direct your body, but you do not need to manage or control. You'll notice as your feet relax, the energy in your body naturally and automatically starts flowing downward, down through your legs, through your ankles, down through your feet, to the bottom of your feet, deep into earth. Depending on how you're feeling, this energy may be slow, like the sap flowing out of a tree, or it may be fast, like waterfalls in springtime. Whichever way your energy wishes to flow is perfect and natural. And you'll notice as the energy is flowing through your body, the top of your head naturally, instinctively, automatically starts to relax and open up. The top of your head may feel light and airy and tingly as energy flows in from the divine cosmic love in through the top of your head, through your body, down through your legs, through your feet, deep into earth. If you feel any pain or pressure or discomfort, acknowledge it and give it permission to resolve itself. It's very natural when our bodies open up to have parts of your body become self-protective. Like when someone comes behind you and taps you on the shoulder, you give a little jump. As we open up our bodies to the beautiful divine flow of sacred love, our bodies may be a little bit surprised and a slightly resistant. Thank your body for the automatic protection it wishes to have for you. Acknowledge it, give it permission to relax and invite the beautiful divine love, cosmic energy to flow in through your lovely, relaxed, light and airy, tingly top of your head, swirl around your mind, 
your mouth, your skull, down through your neck, your spine, down your body, flowing on down through your hips, your legs, down to your ankles and your feet, ever downward, deep into earth, where our beloved Pacamama eats all this energy like chocolate, magnifies all the best, purest love, transposes all the energy to the highest state of joy and sends it out to all of your wonderful nature brothers and sisters within and upon the planet. If you feel any blocks or discomforts in your body, don't worry. As the energy is flowing through your body, it will not be stopped. Like the mighty river flowing down a mountainside, if it reaches any boulders or fallen trees or land masses, it flows over it, under it, around it, picks it up and carries it down the river to the ocean, wears it down, flows through it. The energy will flow. There is no stopping it. Invite your body to relax, enjoy the energy flow cleaning you, lightening you, bringing brightness all through your being, inviting you to become a conduit, a hollow bone of cosmic love flowing from divine and angelic on down through you to earth. where earth receives with all gratitude. As the wonderful divine light of love cosmic, angelic joy is flowing through your body. You might even feel how you, yourself, your consciousness, your awareness, your soul being is just this wonderful swirling en entity within the conduit of your physical frame. You might even feel more connected to this energy that's flowing through you. than to the tube of being that is your physical shell. You could even invite your soul space, your heart space, to resonate with all of this energy flow. Release the physical constraints. And as you look up and you see all the beautiful swirling energy coming into your body, it may seem more tempting to leave this dense physical and let yourself rise up, rise up with a swirling etheric love. Allow yourself to just release and rise up. You may see this energy as colors or ribbons of light, glitter, sparkles, beams, Stardust. Mm -hmm. 
an ectoplasmic portal to other dimensional frequencies. Invite yourself to just rise up through the top of your head and up through this beautiful swirling energy. Rise up out of your physical to your etheric, rising up out of your body, up through the room, through the ceiling, rising up lighter and lighter as you go through the roof, on up through the cool air, the swirling energy pulling you. The higher you rise up, the easier it is to float up, up with this beautiful divine love and cosmic state of flow. Rise up through the clouds, up through the atmosphere, through the hemisphere, on up, 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 through the stars. And you see calling to you the beautiful, glowing, full, ripe, Sister Moon, calling to you, come to me, come to me. I am ripe with manifestation. I am glowing with love. Come to me, rise up, flow. And you do, you find yourself heart to heart being called to your beloved sister moon, rising up until you land on the beautiful glowing lunar surface, possibly puffs of moon dust float around your beautiful energetic etheric feet, your energy base connecting with moon's beautiful, ripe, full manifestation, glowing energy. You see beautiful, pure white light all around radiating from your beloved sister moon. She says to you, I'm so happy that you are here with me. It is wonderful that my earth sibling, who brings the beautiful Gaia energy to my space, helping us connect with the strongest bonds of love. You feel the love of Luna filling you, pouring into you as though you're a sponge sopping up pure manifestation love from our wonderful, lovely, glowingly ripe manifestation moon. You feel full up with this wonderful sacred energy. Moon says to you, it's time. You feel this in your heart. So you call out, whomever or whatever is interrupting my ability to manifest my highest state of joy, love, happiness, my total state of love. I call to you to come here now. You are contractually obligated on a soul level to come here and stand before me, 
whole never, whatever, wherever, whenever you are, I call to you. Be here now with me. In a distance, you see something coming towards you. That which you have called is here. You see it coming closer and closer, taking shape and form. Then that which you have called is before you. Observe it. You know that you are safe here. Sister Moon's love is all around you. You are protected. You are loved. You are safe. Observe that which you called. Look at the energy between the two of you. You can see lines of energy. What do they look like? How do they feel where they connect to your body? What direction is this energy flowing in? Look at these lines of connection. How do they make you feel in your heart, your soul, when you look upon them? How do they make you feel in your being, your gut, the connections? Understand, lines of love will never be severed. They will only ever be cleansed, purified, and magnified. But energetic lines below the frequency of love, or any crusts below love that are covering the lines of love, can be severed or cleansed or turned to love. Any lines that are severed return to you and the other for healing so that all you have between you is love. Know this in your heart. Know this to be true. Look into your hand, you will find a cutting implement. It may be large or small. It might even be your hand itself. Whatever you find in your hand is perfect for this ceremony. Feel it in your hand. And when you are ready, Raise your hand up and cut. Cut all the lines of energy between you and that which you have called. Cut all the energy around you in every direction. Don't worry, your cutting implement can reach around. It can, you can even send the energy in curves if you wish. Cut and cut, and you can see what energy is pulled back to each of you and what energy becomes brighter. It may even change color or appearance with the cutting. Cut and cut.
now look at the energy between you and that which you have called. What does it look like? If you'd like, take a moment and talk with whom you have called or what, when, where. Let your heart reveal itself. And now, say goodbye to what you have called. Tell it to return to where it belongs. And you watch as it goes further and further and further away until that which you have called is gone, gone back to where it belongs. Look again at your energy. See where you are healing, where you are bright. See where you deserve to bring in additional love. Sister Moon says to you, feel me beneath your feet. Take your cutting implement and stake it into me so I may pour my love through this into you. Drink me, drink my love, my powerful manifestation energy of this full moon and all of the light of my love for you. Drink me up, let me fill you. You can feel total healing. Your being is filled all the wounds are replaced with love. All of the love is brightened, purified, and magnified. Sister Moon says to you, now, look into your heart. What wish of desire is waiting for you within the core of your beautiful, loving heart? Look inward. What do you see in your heart? It may be a wish, it may be a message, or a gift. Whatever you find will be perfect for you. Sister Moon invites you to 
connect her love with what you found in your heart so that you have her support to bring that which you wish for, that which you need to glorious, beautiful, wonderful fruition. You feel Sister Moon wrap her love around you like a blanket, a comforter. Then you look into your hand to your cutting implement. You may sheathe it wherever you like, wherever the implement wishes to be placed. So you may call upon it any time you wish. Sister Moon gives you another loving hug and a kiss upon your cheek, your brow. With a gentle whoosh, she helps you float gently, ever so gently, downward off the lunar surface down through space, through the galaxy, where even now in the distance you can see planets, down, down towards our beautiful Earth coming closer, down through the hemisphere, down through the atmosphere, floating down through the cool, misty clouds, down, down through the air, down into your body, where your energy nestles itself back into your physical being. Where you are breathing again with your lungs, can wiggle your toes and your fingers a bit. Rub your hands together and raise them up to cup your eyes. Allow your spirit vision and your physical vision to reconnect with each other. And when you are ready, in your own comfort of time, return to this space, this room, this being, this time. Welcome back.